so we have, let's see, we have, we have to learn about Gus and Gregory. I would imagine that Gus and Gregory are probably next. Edie will probably be like near the end. Or hold on. Oh no, it's not going in order because it would have been Gus then Sam. Huh. I'm not sure what the, how it's decided the order, but Oh boy. Available username 888. <laughs> Keep playing. This is great and I'm really excited to see your take on it. Well, thanks. I'm really enjoying it to be honest with you. Like, I'm really enjoying it. And, um... It's funny, I was going through my emails the other day, and I had an email from, um... One of the groups that was distributing review codes for this game, and they reached out and asked if I was interested, and I said... It was when I had, like, three or four series going, and I couldn't... I was just like, I'm so busy. And I told them, like, I would love to try it, but I can't... I can't commit to try it. Um, but you know what? Maybe I'll stream it at some point. And, well, here we are. This was like two months ago. Grace Hank, I do think we'll probably finish it uh, in this in this run tonight. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. Finch control. <laughs> like a space station looking out to the stars. It's neat. All right, here's Gregory. Look at, oh, shared bedroom. Gregory, Don, Gus, put a skateboard over top. That's the siblings, right? Yeah. So this is Gus's story. I just want to check everything before we go into the stories. House rules. No playing outside without permission. No answering doors for strangers. No messes after dark. All chores before dark. Respect others. You know, going back to the, the thought about all the rooms being unique. They're so unique that it feels like different locations entirely. And I wonder if that's a thing. I wonder if that's a thing. Uh, Bakerman, no, they're not off. Um, they're just subtle, and they kind of sound like they would be in the game almost. Oh, cool, look at this. Can we climb? Oh, I can climb this. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. <sighs> At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Bible, photos, computer. I can't imagine what it was like for her to lose two sons after she'd already lost two brothers. Yeah, like, Edie, same thing. Like, okay, this, okay, hold on, hold on. Edie, right, loses all of her sons and daughters, right? Um, well, okay. The son has a daughter. She loses everybody. I mean, I guess everybody's kind of losing everybody, so maybe there's not a thing there. Don and Sanjay. 86. They got married, maybe? So I guess she was going on these trips to India. 10 ways to teach critical thinking, maybe as like a teacher. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she oh, okay. met my dad, Sanjay. Makes sense. All the little sticky notes. What to major in, to do, buy books, places to visit in India, Jodhpur, Red Fort, Taj Mahal. 
Wedding presents. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Okay, so she did end up going Lewis as a was teacher. Born a year later. <sighs> okay. I don't like where this is going, guys. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. I think we're getting off the path here. All I wanted to do was kind of check things out before, but... Oh geez, chat's going wild. <laughs> Don't worry. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... And yet she did. Divorce contract to Sam Finch. Dear Kay, do you oh remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Of course he did. I'm just playing with my frog in the tub. Oh, look! We're like controlling the flow of music. That's weird. Oh, now I'm controlling the frog. What? So bizarre, man. Hand over, Gregory. It's time to. Hey, Crazy Cole. Thanks, man. Hold on, sweetie. Hello. Please don't Ma leave me I in here. You, I don't want to talk right now. Oh boy. I wonder what he saw. Well, I can go under. Oh, cool. Like. I should try and hit these, I think. We're pretty special. You reminded me so much of Calvin. in his imagination. Look at even the ducks are going in a perfect circle now. Oh, cool. He saw. It sure made him happy. Look at them all going into a line. That's really neat. Whoa! Oh, do I need to get up? I think I need to get up there. I know how silly it sounds. What is this? I worried about a baby being too happy. Well, you've probably worried that he's not all there. Sorry, oh, thank God. Me. I know you did everything you could. Maybe but. if I hadn't caught that night. Uh oh. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Oh no. Oh, I'm the frog again. Oh, 
Look at how the eye of the... Of the, uh... No! Look at the handle! The eye of the whale follows the frog around. I wish you could have told us. No! About the world he saw. There's so much I don't understand. Wow. About Gregory. About everything. Oh, we're swimming as the frog now. We're in our happy place. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Let me pull the plug. Is it too late? I'm sure he's happy. No, no! And he'd want you to be happy too. Holy luck, shit, Kay. man. Love, Sam. That is... heavy. <laughs> he was one years old. Or one year old. Singular. You know, like, it's sad. Stuff like that really happens. You know, not the jumping, controlling toys with your mind shit, but like... Stuff like that... Really does happen. You know, if somebody gets distracted, they forget about their kid or whatever. That's scary, man. That is so scary. Baker man saying he has a nine month old and you're depressed AF. You know what? I wouldn't think about it like that. I would just... I just wouldn't think about it like that. It's too depressing to think about it. Like, you just gotta... know that you're a good parent. Okay, so Gus... was 13? A poem for Gus. A poem for Gus who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see oh, a wedding Oh, I'm flying? In the yard. I'm flying this. What? Now that's cool. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. So I'm controlling this, by the way. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, this is at the wedding. The replacement mom. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. No! No! Don't be bad. The wind picked up. Panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Rain on your wedding day is, uh, good luck? It's like, I always think of the Alanis Morissette song. I, isn't it ironic? And like, rain's kind of bad, but on your wedding day it's good. The rain came down in buckets that Maybe not no storming. one afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Oh, we've got a little trail now. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. 
But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Whoa. Gazebo down. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. Did we get crushed by the gazebo? What? She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Oh boy. Oh, the rain thing, I had it mixed up. Yeah, either way. So two short ones, but, um... All these deaths are, like, freaking tragic, man. Raise flag at 7.30, breakfast 8, quiet time, like, it's military, right? Everything, way everything's laid out, everything. But that kind of makes sense based on what we knew of Sam, right? Military background. Anarcho one, yeah, I mean, if you are gonna buy this game, I would highly suggest you play it on your own. It's a cool experience, too, like, the way that all the, the mechanics change for every story, it's... It's really neat. Milton, Lewis, Dawn, Edith. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edith was little used gardens. to that. So every time somebody's born or whatever, or starts to grow up, they just add something to the house, which is why it's kind of like janky towards the top. And for a while, things were good, almost normal. I don't think there's anything we can do with these. Oh, am I forgetting Dawn? Jeez. No, in Dawn's area... I don't think we have anything in Dawn's area. Even though I know this says Dawn Finch, but I can't interact with that. Right? So we must have to come back because there's nothing I can do with Dawn. So let's, uh... Let's all be cool. <sighs> Don't worry, team. Everything will come at the time it's supposed to. Man, you know what? Thinking about... Okay, so I'm looking at this multiplication table. Thinking about this now... Learning the multiplication table is actually kind of mind-blowing. Isn't it? Isn't that kind of mind-blowing? Like, how you have to teach that to children? Oh god, I could never be a teacher. I, I couldn't... I, I don't have the patience. <laughs> so homeschooling, Mrs. Finch. Last. Scientific method. Observation, question, research, hypothesis, experiment, data, conclusion. Probably a few repeats in there. To teach and to learn by Don Finch. Seven ways to create a fulfilling classroom. Cisco, is your training to be an elementary teacher? That's cool. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Should we check up here first? Yeah, we'll go into Milton's place. A 
After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Now remember, they never found Milton's body. I still have hope that... I don't know, maybe not, but maybe that's foolish, but you never know. We can't get in there. I guess more than likely we're not going to have a Milton story, are we? Oh, maybe. Let's just check everything. That's called like Orca Island. The area. It's an interesting way of painting with your feet. Painted a new door. Oh, that's cool. Talented. Did he build this? Very talented. Oh, we are gonna have a Milton story. That'll be telling, won't it? Remember, we still had that one night from the very beginning that we talked about where everybody left this place in a hurry. We still don't know what caused that. And that'll be, uh, pretty revelatory. The magic paintbrush. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. Put a sneeze in there. Wait a second. No. Wait. was four when Milton disappeared. What? Embellished or not, still strange. Paints the door. Paints the story of him painting the door. Paints this story of him painting the door and walking through it. So you could think that he, he he made himself disappear, he ran away or something. Is there anything in these headlines? I can't really tell. Murder probe? Murder probe clues exhausted. Huh. Okay. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. I wonder if, like, the sealing of the doors was maybe because of Milton's story. In a way. I don't know. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Whatever Milton had found in the house, he didn't want it... She didn't want it getting out? Pretty mind blowy right now. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me oh, to stay whoa. out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. Legalized marijuana. 
Lewis is tripping balls. I love that every room is so in tune with the character. Lewis's room smelled very, very <laughs> familiar. <laughs> that part of him lived on. That part of him lived on. Very familiar. So we are. Hey, why are we leaving? Why are we. I just turned. Alright. I won't turn. Oh, what? A Wonderland Turbo? Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. <laughs> Never happens to me. He's got a pretty nice setup. Dual monitors. What is that? 768 by 1024, you figure? I guess that's perfect square. Could be 1024, 1024, 768 squared. His locker contents from... Oh, it's the brand is called Plunderbox. 